So let's address this comment because it seems an overwhelming amount of people in the military don't understand their rights. So one soldier said, respectfully, Sergeant, remember your oath. And this comment came after I posted a photo, a photo of our 45th and potentially 47th commander in chief. And this was after an attempt on his life. So first off, let's break down what our oath actually means and what our rights are as soldiers when it comes to politics and personal opinions. So our oath as members of the military is to support and defend the constitution of the United States, United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And this means upholding the values of our nation, including freedom of speech and expression. So, you know, there's a common misconception that soldiers can't express political opinions while there's specific regulations about engaging in political activities, especially in uniform or in official capacity. So we are still citizens with the right to free speech. And according to the DOD directive, I forget what it is, I'll link it below. Also comment DOD for the full directive. We're allowed to express our personal opinions on political candidates and issues as long as we make it clear we're speaking for ourselves and not on behalf of the military. Now, for the commenter who said, as a service member, you are literally not allowed to be political while in uniform, let's get the facts straight. I'm not in uniform in any of these posts. And my platform is not about using my official position to endorse any political figure. I'm simply exercising my right as a citizen to voice my thoughts. So let's be clear, my posts are personal, personal views and they do not represent the army or the, the Department of Defense. I'm just exercising my right as a citizen to voice my thoughts. So for those of you saying you're not supposed to be posting about politics while being in the military, please understand the difference between personal expression and an official endorsement. We have a duty to uphold the Constitution, which includes our right to speak freely. And remember, standing up for our country means standing up for the freedoms that we swore to protect. And again, remember, united we stand, divided we fall. And if you want the full DOD directive, comment DOD and I'll DM you a copy.